previously on Sailing Catalpa. We go camping in Outback Australia and find some beautiful waterfalls. So we're at the marina. We got in yesterday from camping and um, we're leaving the marina today. It's a bit stinky, babe. What happened? Get out of this marina and head out to the reef today just to break up our provisioning run. Thought we'd have a day on the reef, but we awoke to a toilet that was making a strange sound and not flushing. Lee, what are you doing? Well, Tardy boy. <laughs> This is a real crap job, <laughs> literally. But I have found the problem, Taj. That was our little break. So we'll get a replacement of those before we leave, which I happen to have a spare one on the boat. And uh, I didn't even realize what it was for until I opened this up, so it's all good. There it is there, it's on there. So that was our problem, that's what broke. And the build up from a urine and toilet system, it's just like a calcium build up which is rock hard. There was a lot of this, I don't know before we left the boat, we did actually put some conditioner in it and I don't know whether a little bit of this stuff loosened off the walls and actually hit the blade and that's what's caused it to snap, I don't know. But half hour or so we should be back together I'm just going to clean all this up and we should have a toilet again Whew, stinky after fixing the toilet we head back out into the Cairns River where we anchor and stay for the rest of our time here while we were in the marina and while we were camping we had a sail bag made and an awning for shade here I am using the hot knife to cut the ropes or the lines for our shade because we've got older sails, we also got our main sail reinforced by a local sail maker. So hopefully these sails will last a bit longer. Oh, John's done a good job of that. We Quite love our that. sail bag. How good is it? Thanks, John. It's um, snug as a bug. A little so bit pretty. of fine churning as we use it, but Looks just good. for a rough fit, that's pretty good. Now we're going to put on our shade. Yeah. Zips onto here. here. Should and be easy. Put our sunshade over. <laughs> Ready excited? for Indonesia. <gasps> this is our boom tent that we got made. It'll be brilliant for when we are in the tropics and to get out of the sun and to just cool the boat down. So it's really cool. It zips onto the side of our sail bag and really easy to put up and down. How much storage do we have down here? Uh, it's a little hidey hole, but we're going to remove this, which is part of the old wire and it joins and it just, yeah, it's a little bit dodge. I'd like to sort of have one hole run through with the wire. So we just found a little bit of storage under the Bella's bed that we can utilize. It's exciting because we're always looking for storage. Daddy, tell us what you're doing here. What am I doing? Yeah. Um, I'm just replacing our wire. It goes to our anchor winch. All our terminals, all the ends are all corroded. The wire's got all dodgy joints through it here and there. So just for what it's worth, I've just started and I've just put a whole new lot of wire through to the anchor winch. This new, is our new wire. New terminals. New ends, all nicely swaged to get maximum power. It was getting really hot and um, stinky. Yeah, and melting and all sorts of stuff was going on. And I cleaned up the terminals, and that in itself made a big difference. It, I just thought we'll replace all the lines so we get maximum power to the winch. So here we go. Radio. So here we go. <laughs> So, how'd you go? Um, pretty good, I think. Seemed to have a bit more power up there now. 
all new lines. It's an old little anchor winch, but definitely seems to have more power with all new cable. So, Let's see how we go when we pull the anchor. <laughs> That's cool, babe. So he just replaced all of the wires and it made a massive difference. It's Monday morning. We're still in Cairns. We're anchored in the river outside of Cairns. Um, today we've got the last of our list and we're going ashore to provision um, everything but our fresh fruit and veggies. We'll do that the exact day that we leave. And we're just going to do a little bit of a run around to all the different shops that we need to because we've got a, a friend's car. Thanks Camo and Jules. And um, so we're going to go and utilize the car, run around and do all that stuff. Then we've got something really exciting happening this afternoon. Something that is hasn't happened for about, I think, nearly six years. So stay tuned. So Taj is having a haircut. How do you feel about that, mate? I don't know. When was the last time you had short hair? Seven years ago. So, turn around and show us your beautiful locks. Oh. Got the knots out just a minute ago. <laughs> it was fully matted and dreaded up. But we've worked very hard the last three days trying to get them out. <laughs> so, a lot of people also have been asking, um, how we provision and like asking to show us some stuff about provisioning. Uh, I'm useless. I don't have spreadsheets. I'm not organized. So um, basically what I do is have a heap of containers. I have all the stuff that we use all the time in the containers. What I do is fill those containers and then I put as much as I can in the cupboards as backup um, for those for our dry food and then basically fill the rest of the place with what stuff that we eat, so all our canned food and all our vegetables. Um, so our fridge is massive, we fill so that, stuff that up. I don't, I'm not, I try to write lists, I write lists and then I lose them. What I try and do is just have our boat with as much food as possible that fits. So whatever we forget, whatever, you know, that's just the way it is. Uh, this time when we leave, we're trying to stop for six months. This is the longest we've we will have to go with being stocked up um i think we've been six weeks between stops um up until this point so i guess we will forget things that that's okay and we're pretty open to just shopping in indonesia and i love asian food we all love asian food anyway so most of the things i stock up on are you know rice and and asian supplies so i'm pretty sure we'll be able to get those overseas uh we've don't do long life milk we actually do powdered milk for storage reasons um, and the kids don't mind that at all uh, another thing is all our bread flour so we make all our bread and I guess that will run out at some point too um, how we do it I just wing it <laughs> so far it's worked <laughs> Any other helpful tips I can share with you? If you've got any helpful tips for me, please share in the comments down below because I love reading all your comments when they're positive. But, um, yeah, that's all. We're gonna go back over this afternoon. Taj is getting his hair cut. We're gonna do some more shopping and that's about all. Oh, Taj is getting his eyes tested too because he needs a new prescription for his eyes. Taj is very special. Taj is very special. <laughs> Today's all about Taj. It's Taj day. <laughs> Get your hair cut. Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. Still want this decision? Yeah. All right, let's go do it. Taj, what are we doing today? Getting my hair cut two times. 
Getting your haircut again. Show us your hair. So what he does not like is... It actually is meant to go... Like... On his face. It's in his face. He doesn't like it. He wants it shorter. So somebody who hasn't had a haircut in like seven years has now had two in two days. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> place to come and visit and a great place to stay. There was heaps to do to keep us entertained for our time here. So we're just sitting outside of um, a resort using their Wi-Fi. So uploading a movie. I just got an email back from Taj's first job that he did for one of our patrons and um, he's a little anxious and excited to see <laughs> what he said. How do you feel about completing your first um, job? Really good. Yeah? You're yeah. stoked? Yeah. As uh, that he wants me to sign a release form and how cool. It's very cool. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. Earning some money. Okay, Taji, what do you got there, mate? I've got my Buckus drawing. So this is Taj's first job as an artist. And he's finished and he's about to post it to um, his client in the US of A. So that's really exciting. Taj is like an international worker. He yeah. had uh, one of our patrons wanted Taj to design a logo for him. And... Uh, Taji fulfilled his first job. Yeah. And he's got paid and he's pretty stoked. Yeah? Yeah. You want to show everyone your, his logo? I'm sure he won't mind. <laughs> oh, I've done two. Well done, mate. Yeah. This is only the beginning. So if anyone's out there and they want Taj to do some artwork for him, uh, you know where to contact us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to walk to the post office and get these pictures on their way to USA, America. <laughs> Daddy, what are you doing? Well, possum, 
I am sealing up some fresh vegetables to see how much longer we've got at this. We've got that online. So it's a little Russell Hobbs seal fresh vacuum sealer. And we've just tried out some cabbage. We'll see if we can just get a little extra life because we're not going to be at port for a little while in between here and TR. Seal bags, we're going to see how long it lasts. We haven't done it before, but surely it's going to last longer than it just being in the in the fridge. Usually I do containers, so I put all lettuces and cabbage and stuff in the containers. But... Hey guys, so that was episode 46. What we were doing our vegetables last of this episode, right? So we vacuum sealed all our veggies um, as a bit of a tip for provisioning but uh, we used all our fresh ones so I just left our fresh ones how I usually do and then vacuum sealed half of them thinking that the vacuum sealed ones would last longer so I just wanted to let everybody know that it didn't work um, I wouldn't recommend it what happened was all of the it, they just kind of fermented in their own juices so I actually had to throw out a lot of the veggies that we had um, vacuum sealed so as a bit of a tip I don't know if I did it wrong or I did the wrong veggies, but we vacuum sealed, I think it was like bok choy, carrots, cabbage, um, a whole different heap of veggies. Yeah, and it just was no good, so I don't recommend doing that. Uh, we just wanted to say a massive thank you to our patrons that continue to support us um, and make this our life actually sustainable and able to do. Um, and we also wanted to kind of put it out there as well. We've had, um, we're really close to getting our drone. We've got about half the money for our drone and we just wanted to put it out there if anyone wanted to contribute. We do have a PayPal account. The information will be down below. We have had some contributions so I just wanted to say a massive thank you to those people who have done that. Um, a massive thank you to all our new patrons. We're in Thursday Island at the moment. We got here so we're just hanging with our friends. Before we head to Gove, we're actually gonna leave from Gove to Indonesia so we've got one more stop so we've got a little bit of time before we're out of Australia but not much. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. So join us next time as Catalpa nearly gets taken out by a cargo ship. We replace some windows and we secure Catalpa getting ready to cross oceans and leave Australia. Yeah. To say